what a lovely day, what a lovely day for a good cup of tea. Oh, what fun it will be. Won't you come along and have one with me? And that's what we're doing today at the Blue Valley Golf Estate and Country Club in Centurion. We're here to celebrate women who are making big strides in the field of civil engineering. And we're here to motivate graduates as well as students in that field as well. Without any further ado, let's go inside and enjoy a good scrumptious breakfast, followed by some motivation. Joining me right here is Ms. Ndebo Ngobo, who is the HOD of Civil Engineering Technology at the University of Johannesburg. Ms. Ngobo, thank you so much for joining us and we welcome you to Sisi Joburg TV. Thank you very much. All right, I'd like to start off by asking you. So, there was something that you said in the presentation and you said that we as women are our own worst competitor. Why is that? Because first of all, as women, we tend to want to excel in everything. And even though we, we are excelling, we don't see, we don't see it as excellence. We, we excel, but we also see our shortcomings quite a lot. Having said that, um, a, a woman with so many good qualities will tend to focus on the qualities that they, they are lacking on. And we tend to, to zoom in on those and we forget about the things that we, we, we can offer. Hence, I said uh, we are our own worst enemy. Right. Secondly, self-discipline. How important is it to have such in what you do at work and also in your personal routines? For me, self-discipline is everything. The, like I said earlier, the discipline to spend time with your kids, the discipline to do everything that you need to do in your in your life that is more that is important, and and for me, I, st I work with a plan, and if I deviate from the plan, I start to stress because I know that if I had said to do A B C, and I've only done A, I know I'm behind with B and C, and tomorrow I've got A B C to still to do. But I can't because I still have the things that I was supposed to do yesterday that I haven't done. And then that creates a lot of stress. And then we end up thinking, ah, maybe I'm not good enough. But it's all because of lack of discipline to do the things that we need to do on a daily basis. So more self-discipline, less dream stealers. <laughs> all right. And lastly, before I let you go, any words of encouragement to the civil engineering students graduates as well as professionals, especially those who are female? One thing I can say to, to, to young engineers is you are not the first people to do what you are doing. The road that you are traveling has been, has been traveled before. You need to look at, if you are struggling, you need to find people who have been in the similar situation and don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to, to, to go and, and find a, a mentor and ask the mentor to assist you where you are lacking. Joining me today is the Managing Director for Bosch Projects, Ms. Danae Magugumela. Thank you so much for joining us and a warm welcome to Saisi Jovic TV. Thank you very much for having me. Now I know in the presentation earlier on you spoke about basically finding a balance as a professional and that includes finding a balance between your heritage as well as diversity since you work with people from different environments and different backgrounds and also finding a balance between your work life as well as your family life. How important is it to achieve such a balance as a professional? I've just found that over and above everything we've done at university and the qualifications we've obtained and the knowledge that we have Success in the workplace has got a lot to do with being taken seriously, a lot to do with being, influence, being influential. And for ourselves as women with mostly male colleagues, it's often a challenge to be well understood and well regarded. And lastly, before I let you go, any message to female civil engineers as well as to this female civil engineering students and graduates? 
Well, I'd like to say you've done very well in choosing civil engineering. I have no regrets having studied it many, many years ago because it is a very, very wide, far-reaching um, course of study. As a woman going out into the workplace, your background in this area, in this discipline, will give you so many opportunities in so many sectors. And in South Africa, we have a degree, a set of degree programs that are widely regarded worldwide. So I encourage anyone who's in studies or considering studies or in the profession to go as far as you can with it. I'm joined here by Bridget Kirst, who is an Associate Senior Structural Engineer. Bridget, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to SASE Joburg TV. Good morning, thank you for having me. All right, so there's this one saying which I really like so much and it says, climb in, get dirty. I feel like it's double connotated. Would you say so and how so? It's a philosophy I apply to my life in general, not just my career, where we sometimes are very, very wary and very frightened of jumping into something, taking a leap of faith and getting involved, but also then understanding that that climbing in means that you're not always going to come out squeaky clean and that's life and your career, particularly as a structural engineer. You sometimes are going to have to climb in that hole with the guys, check the rebar, and it means you're going to get dirty. All right. And second of all, you also mentioned in your presentation that as much as we get gender biases from male um, colleagues, especially in the field of civil engineering, we also tend to be our worst enemy when it comes to that. How can we stop ourselves from falling into that kind of trap? Part of that is being aware that you have the bias in the first place and understanding that so much of it is dictated by society around us. As women, we're told to be beautiful, we need to wear high heels and makeup. Why? Why? Why do we feel that need? Why aren't we beautiful with our flat shoes minus makeup? And it's understanding that and understanding where you fall into the trap personally and being aware personally, but also how we treat other women around us. Very often we feel the need to compete and society tells us we need to compete. I've personally made that change in the office. Rather than criticize a woman, if she looks beautiful, tell her so. If you really like the shirt she's wearing, tell her that you think it's a pretty shirt. If they do, someone's doing a good job, regardless of their gender, tell them so. That positive assertion and acknowledgement makes a massive difference to people in general. All right, and lastly, before we let you go, any words of encouragement to civil engineering students, graduates, as well as professionals who are female? It's not an easy career, but as a student, you're almost finished your degree, you've won half the battle. Nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life worthwhile doesn't require hard work. I'm joined here by Ms. Marilise Fisser, who is a structural engineer at TMV Consulting and Design, which is her company, by the way. And she's also the chairman of JSD. Ms. Fisser, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Sasi Jobic TV. Thank you so much. So, one question I'd like to start off with is, you mentioned in the presentation that structural engineering is one of the best careers in the field of engineering. Why? Structural engineering is rewarding in the sense of the type of projects that you can get involved in is so diverse. So if you're a person that loves change, that is the type of projects that you would need to go get into, the career that you need to go into because um, structural engineering gives you the opportunity to start off from a basic drawing where you do your design work, do your detailing, seeing the development on site and doing the final inspection and that is the reward from from an idea from a client to the final product and that is why I love engineering and structures as a as a profession. All right and secondly you also mentioned that it's very important for a woman in the field of civil engineering and structural engineering to look the part. How important is it in that profession? Anything in life is all about the first impression the appearance that you you portray so if you want to be taken professionally you need to dress the part there are days that you would dress down and there are days that you need to be 
aware of the type of attire that you, you would use. You also mentioned that it's very important for one to remain current. What does that mean? Remaining current means that you need to transform as an individual when you've done your professional registration and you go into projects. You need to transform and, and get new skills. Skills development is one of the most amazing and important things that you need to do in your life. If you stay current, you will always be the best engineer that you can be in the industry. You can do that in many, many ways. You can do a private um, courses that you can book online you can go to universities they do um, after uh, like a, a postgraduate studies CPD courses there's so many that's been done by all the various institutions go to the website see what what type of courses they do book the courses go on to the courses sometimes you need to learn something that's not within your your scope of works day by day but it's also important to understand what's going out um, on and on the outside of your of your profession and that helps you to be a better engineer if you understand more you're more diverse then your decision making is better right and lastly any words of encouragement to female civil engineering professionals students and graduates I'm a girl, so I'm going to talk to the girls and it's the last day of um, Women's Month. Um, be the best individual that you can be. Be that person that wants to make the difference. Be that person that wants to deliver service to your clients. Um, be the best designer. But don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself in a box and think I'm not good enough. You are good enough irrespective of your gender and irrespective of um, the course that you take in, in your life your vision for self should be to be the best if that is your focus that would be the outcome and there you have it ladies and gentlemen Today was Sassy Johannesburg's Women in Hard Hats High Tea, which took place at the Blue Valley Golf Club and Country Estate in Centurion. A morning fought with motivation, good company, good food, and of course, great champagne. And with that being said, all good things do have to come to an end. Thank you so much for joining me from myself, Busia Satwayo. I hope to see you at the next event. <laughs>